In the first frames we see a guy named Finn drawing. His friend Jasper came over. Finn confessed that he was experiencing a creative crisis, but wasn't planning on giving up. The guy dreams of becoming a famous artist, but right now he has to work as a plumber to make a living. Of course this depresses Finn, but there's no other choice for now. When Finn finished work, his girlfriend Callie came home. Due to a lack of money, she has to buy clothes at a second-hand store. Like her boyfriend, Callie also has a dream. She wants to become a great writer, but so far no publisher has printed her story. The couple and their friend live together because it's cheaper. One day while Finn was working, his attention was drawn to a hat lying on the floor next to a strange door. It was the 8th apartment. A guy nicknamed Big Joe offers to help Finn relocate chairs for tomorrow night's party. Meanwhile, Jasper watches dog races. He bets, expecting to make money on it. But today, Jasper was unsuccessful. Callie went to see if their neighbor Henry Bezaritas was okay. The thing is, he hasn't left the house for several days, so the other tenants became concerned. Under Mr. Bezaritas' door lay unopened mail. Callie decided to enter the house, but nobody was there. Finn tells Jasper that there's no sense in these dog races. Their conversation was interrupted by Callie, who looked frightened. The company entered Mr. Bezaritas' apartment, who all this time had been spying on them and taking pictures. In addition, there was a strange camera-like device in the room. In one of the photos, Finn noticed the fallen hanger, but could not remember when this happened. The camera was bolted to the floor and made strange sounds. The young people returned to their apartment, trying to figure out what had happened. Finn tried to call the landlord, but to no avail. Going to work, Callie dropped the hanger. Everything was exactly the same as in that photograph. Callie is convinced that the camera takes pictures of the future, since the coincidence is 100%, but Jasper is sure it's just nonsense. Suddenly the device took another photo. The snapshot showed the party planned for tomorrow. Jasper refuses to believe it. Finn however suggested that Henry Bezaritas was a scientist and was testing a machine that really takes photos of the future. Callie found confirmation of this theory in Mr. Bezaritas' diary, which stated that the testing had been successful. But one day the man saw his own demise in a photo. The main rule of time and causality, never try to change the future, but in this situation Mr. Bezaritas decided that the risk was justified. In the last line, the man wrote that there's nothing worse than what he's about to do. That was a week ago. Apparently, the camera takes a photo once a day at 8 o'clock in the evening, but what worries Finn is that there are more pictures. Jasper was no less frightened, realizing that it wasn't a joke. Finn guessed that Mr. Bezaritas was in apartment number 8. Indeed, they found the man there lifeless. It turns out he couldn't change the future. Jasper realized that one must not break the main rule and play with time. He took Mr. Bezaritas' hat. The company returned to their apartment. Finn intends to call the police, but Jasper thinks this is a bad idea. Now they can predict the future, including the results of dog races. This will make them rich. Callie found this enticing as now she could quit her waitressing job and focus on writing. Finn hesitated, but under pressure from Callie and Jasper, he had to agree. The party took place the next evening. Finn is nervous, while Callie and Jasper look relaxed. Entering Mr. Bezaritas' apartment, Finn took a photo at exactly 8 in the evening. The match with the photo taken by the machine was 100%. In the new photo, Finn saw that Jasper had placed a winning bet. Additionally, the camera sees the paintings even before Finn paints it, which means he can finally get out of his creative crisis. This made Finn change his mind. The next morning, Callie shared with the guys her guesses about how the device works. If they try to change the future and all their actions leading to this, then their past will disappear. Perhaps this is how Mr. Bezaritas deceased. Also Callie suggested making it so that all the neighbors think Mr. Bezaritas is okay, otherwise someone might call the police. Jasper agreed without hesitation. Finn hesitated, but eventually agreed as well. Callie sorted out Mr. Bezaritas' mail and watered the flowers. Jasper's bet of course turned out to be winning. Then Callie moved the neighbor's car and answered his letters, while Finn painted his new masterpiece. At the end of the day, they did everything exactly as in the last photo. So day after day went by. Once, Finn heard the phone ringing in the neighbor's apartment. He listened to the voice message. Henry's wife, who has received a letter that was actually written by Callie, asks her husband to call back. Big Joe found it strange that Finn and Callie constantly go to Henry's apartment. Finn lied that the neighbor was in the hospital, so he asked them to water the flowers and look after the apartment. Jasper dreams of getting a lot of money. However, what the company saw in the next photo shocked them. Jasper was kissing Callie. They are now wondering what to do. On the one hand, influencing future events is very risky, and on the other, Callie is Jasper's best friend's girlfriend. Finn said they should have destroyed the machine right away. But now they have no other choice but to do the same thing as in the photo. 
While Finn and Callie are nervous, Jasper is talking on the phone with his bookie. All the guy is interested in is money. Eight in the evening came. Everyone did what they had to do, keeping in mind the main rule, do not influence future events. It was time to find out what would happen tomorrow. In the photo they saw Ivan, Jasper's bookie. What's happening is clearly not normal. Jasper is nervous, realizing that he has to call Ivan. He did call him, but couldn't find an excuse to invite Ivan here. After yesterday's incident, Finn's been rather cold towards Callie. Jasper is getting ready to meet Ivan. Finn and Callie left, as they aren't in the photo. Actually they stayed in the car, worried about their friend. Finn confessed to Callie that he can't stop thinking about what happened between her and Jasper. But he will try to forget about it. In the meantime, Ivan told Jasper that he gets annoyed by those who never lose. It's even worse than debtors. Jasper said he's just lucky, but Ivan didn't believe him and started trashing the apartment. In fear Jasper admitted that he has a reliable source that he can't disclose. But Jasper said he would share the information. At that moment Callie and Finn walked into the apartment. What was on the next photo clearly didn't please them. It turns out Finn will be spying on them. Ivan left, being sure that Jasper has a reliable informant. The time was approaching 8 p.m. Jasper left the apartment, and Finn started drawing Callie, just like in the last photo. At some point they realized it wasn't Finn spying on them, but Ivan and his bouncer Marcus. Now Ivan knows that Jasper and his friends have a device that can photograph the future. He wants Jasper to record the results of the upcoming dog races every day. Marcus will come to get the photos while Jasper, Finn, and Callie sit quietly on the couch. Jasper said he wanted 50% of the profits, but Ivan made it clear he wasn't planning on sharing. Later, Jasper assured his friends that he had everything under control. Finn panicked when he found out that Ivan took the last photo with him. But Jasper said they shouldn't make Ivan angry, because he's a very dangerous man. Without photos from the future, Finn can no longer draw. This caused a conflict with Jasper, who got them into this situation. As agreed, Marcus comes every day for the photos and results. While the bouncer was distracted, Jasper took the opportunity and took a photo of this picture. It was risky, but there would be no other opportunity. The picture in the photo looked like a warning. Additionally, the young people look scared. Jasper is convinced they are in danger. Before going to sleep, Callie suggests to her beloved to pack their things and run away. But Finn doesn't want to leave his friend alone in this situation. Jasper prepared a bat, and also hid tools all over the house. He no longer intends to work for Ivan. In the evening Finn met Joe, who said that he would now become a police officer. Finn is very nervous, knowing that Marcus is watching them. Finn told his friends that Marcus called someone and drove away. Jasper in turn admitted that he had hidden weapons in the house. They don't have much time, so Finn quickly drew the picture. Soon Ivan and Marcus were here. Finn explained that Joe is not a policeman, but a former security guard. However, Ivan did not believe them and was ready to use any methods to get to the truth. To save Callie, Jasper told Ivan that he would perish tomorrow because of Marcus, who would want all the money for himself. Ivan did not know who to believe, as he had not yet seen the next photo. To make sure of everything, Ivan went to Mr. Bezaritas' apartment, while Marcus stayed with Jasper and the others. Jasper advised Marcus to move away from the window, because according to him when Ivan sees the photo, he will do everything to prevent it. Marcus moved to another seat after all. Seeing the photo, Ivan rushed back to the apartment, but was too late. Marcus was already lifeless. At that moment Jasper attacked Ivan and took his life. The phone rang. It was a worried neighbor who heard screams. Finn lied that Callie had burned herself on the stove. The guys carried Marcus and Ivan to the 8th apartment, after which Jasper took Ivan's money. Finn is convinced that they should run as far away from the camera as possible, but Jasper disagrees. He wants to get more money. There was a knock on the door at night. On the threshold, Finn saw a woman who introduced herself as Dr. Heidecker. She is looking for her colleague, Henry Bezaritis. Hearing the conversation, Jasper lied that Mr. Bezaritis moved out a couple of months ago. But noticing the hat of her colleague, the woman showed a gun. The guys were forced to tell her the truth. Dr. Heidecker knew about his experiments and told Jasper and Finn that they were mistaken. Henry didn't pass away from attempting to change the future, he accidentally knocked over a canister of toxic substance. It was just an accident. Dr. Heidecker showed a sinister photograph of what was going to happen tomorrow and what had so frightened Henry. It turned out that the camera could capture not only the next day. Jasper asked the woman if she could change the camera's settings. Dr. Heidecker replied that she knew nothing about this device. After that, Jasper took her life. Finn believes that his friend acted wrongly. But Jasper claimed that he was only trying to protect them, as the woman had a weapon. Callie took Jasper's side. It's 8 o'clock in the evening. Jasper couldn't wait to see what would be in the photograph of tomorrow. 
Finn packed his things and asked Callie to do the same, because according to Dr. Heidecker, Henry deceased not from attempting to change the future but from an unfortunate accident. But from the looks on Callie's and Jasper's faces, Finn immediately realized that something was wrong. Callie ran out of the room in tears. It turned out that tomorrow she would give in to passion with Jasper. Finn blames himself for what happened. He confessed to Jasper that he bought a ring for Callie but never had the courage to propose to her. Finn hopes to change the future, without expecting that Jasper would knock him out. The guy is convinced that Dr. Heidecker's words are mistaken. He doesn't want to risk trying to change the time. Also Jasper can't allow Finn to ruin everything. When Jasper left, Finn tried to get out of apartment number 8, but in vain. In Dr. Heidecker's bag, he found photographs of the future. There was a strange element depicted in one of the pictures. Perhaps Mr. Bezaridis foresaw everything and wanted to warn Finn. In Henry's pocket, Finn found keys and managed to get out of the apartment. Finding a bucket, he filled it with water. Jasper woke up to a phone call. It was Finn, who was in Henry's apartment and threatened to pour the bucket of water on the camera. Finn ordered Jasper to bring Callie and hand her the phone. Jasper had no choice but to comply. Finn told Callie to look in Jasper's pocket for something that should belong to her. Callie took the ring and couldn't hold back her tears. After that, she took the weapon from Jasper. A few seconds later Finn arrived, ready to leave with Callie. While Callie went to collect her things, Jasper seized the opportunity and attacked Finn. A fight broke out between them. It seemed like Finn was doomed, but Callie saved him. Jasper's own greed led to his demise. Callie pointed out that the photograph had changed. It turns out they can alter the future. The police will arrive soon, so Finn has little time to draw the same painting he left as a message for Mr. Bezaridis. It was thanks to this that he found the keys in his pocket. While Finn was drawing, a dreadful suspicion came to him. This painting has always been with him, which means they haven't changed anything. He wonders where the second photograph came from. Finn doesn't understand what's happening. Callie suggested he lie down and take a nap while she packs their things. Finn pretended to sleep but secretly watched his beloved, who was leaving messages to herself in the future at that moment. She had to confess everything. It turned out that when Callie first entered Mr. Bezaridis' apartment, she found messages from her future self. In fact the camera takes pictures at 8 in the morning and 8 in the evening. Keeping it a secret from the guys, Callie could leave messages to herself. That provocative photograph of Callie and Jasper was taken a month ago, but Callie switched it out. Finn was disappointed. A month ago they knew nothing about the camera. Callie assured him that it didn't mean anything. Moreover, Finn's jealousy brought back the spark in their relationship. According to Callie, she did everything to save Finn. He intends to break the machine, while Callie wants to leave a message to herself for the evening shot and change the past so that their conversation never happened. Callie had no choice but to take Finn's life. After that, she left a message for herself to alter the past. At that moment Joe arrived, who had received a message from Finn the day before. The guy immediately sensed something was wrong. Witnessing the horrifying scene, Joe was about to arrest Callie. In the final frame we see the device taking another photograph. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss more exciting new products. Also the authors will be pleased if you leave your opinion in the comments.